Hi, my name is Melinda Vitarna, and I'm a senior program manager with the Microsoft Dynamics AX R&D organization. My area of focus is business intelligence, or BI. Now, BI is about making sense of information around you and using those insights to improve your business. Now, I'm sure you'll agree when I say that BI is something that you should provide to every, each and every one of the users in your organization. But in our surveys, what we have seen is that often BI is used by either the executives, the senior managers, or the analysts. We wanted to find out why, and we found two major barriers that prevented BI from giving to, being given to everyone in the organization. First is what I call the data overload. What this means is that there's so much data, there's so many sources of data, but problems are that often these data doesn't match, or they're at too high level to be useful, or this data is simply late. Now, as a result of that, you, although you have, do have a lot of data, it's not very useful. The second is there's too many tools out there. Now, some of these tools are really good. But the problem is they're specialist tools and it, it requires specialist training. And it's costly to implement these tools and then as a result, you know, these are not meant for everyone in the organization. So with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, what have we done to overcome these barriers? Well, we have three strategies that we have adopted. First and foremost, our answer to data overload is what we call role-based BI. The idea is very simple. What we want to do is to expose only the relevant and timely information to the users through what we call role centers. There are 34 role centers that are pre-built and shipped with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Um, and of course, the second approach is we make use of the most popular BI tool in the world today, Microsoft Office Excel, instead of building our own tool. And of course, the third, is the fundamental belief that we have in that BI is part of a core ERP experience. It's not something that you do outside of an ERP. It's what you do. Let's just take a quick look and let's see these concepts in action. Assume that I'm Connie, the credit and collections manager of, of our hypothetical organization, Contoso Corporation, and when I log into Dynamics AX, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, this is what I see. Role center is my home page. Think of it as my hub or my wall. All the information that is relevant to me is drawn from the ERP and shown to me in the role center. So for an example, there are operational indicators, indicators that are important to me, indicators that change real time based on the data. And of course, there are things that I need to take action on. There's a few items that I need to, need to do right away, and they're highlighted here. And of course, some projections. Um, these are charts that show what's going to happen in the next few days. And of course, the most frequent reports that I need to run as a part of my job. You will also notice some contextual information on the right-hand side. Of course, it shows some KPIs. These KPIs are important to my department and my organization, and I need to keep an eye on them. And of course, a trend which shows how the receivables have fared in the past periods. But what's interesting about Role Center is every bit of information that you see here is actionable. So let's look at customers past due. Now what happens here is right away I'm taken into the action center. This is pretty much where I do uh, every day. So for an example, you will see the new ribbon bar that shows me all the actions that I can take with respect to my overdue customers. But what's also interesting is that you will also see this contextual information that are relevant. So I don't need to open up another form or another report. I see the relevant information right there. Now what I can also do is I can actually, you know, personalize this by adding some extra information. For an example, let's add customer group because I have a suspicion that certain groups of customers are impacted by you know, business conditions and maybe they're in the past due category. Now when I add that, 
And when I refresh the page, that extra information is added to my Action Center right away, my list page right away. Now what I can do is I can simply filter by what I want and automatically my list page gets filtered. And now what's interesting here is you're right in the middle of an action, uh, action center. You're right in the middle of your daily work. But unconsciously, you have actually created an ad hoc query. You've actually built a query, you've applied a filter, and you're working with the information. And what I can do is if this filter is inf important to me, I can save it right back into my role center as a queue. Not only that, I can actually share it with other people in my organization. Now there are certain ad hoc capabilities built right into the application, but if you want to take any of this information into Excel, it's just a click away. So in this case, assume that I want to take this information into Microsoft Office Excel, and I want to do an analysis. Um, but you will also notice the Dynamics AX ribbon bar here. Now the idea is I can add additional data securely from Dynam Microsoft Dynamics AX into my analysis, and also I can use the native capabilities of Microsoft Excel. For an example, I can use Power Pivot, and actually I can bring in data from outside, I can bring in the credit rating of these customers, and I can do a credit analysis. Now in this example, this is exactly what I have done. I have created a credit analysis using Power Pivot, and I've added it right back into my role center. Another thing that we talked about role center, when we talk about role center, I just mentioned that you can do operational activities right here. For an example, in this case, I'm running a report, and I'm, I've chosen a set of parameters that I want to uh, I want to run this report with. And what you'll see here is a production report in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Now you'll see the new fonts, which are pleasing to the eye. Um, you will also see some of the capabilities, like the, being, being able to drill right down back into the application uh, where you can take some action on it. Now if you want to rerun this report again, you can simply extend this options bar, apply some newer parameters, and run it. Now what you probably didn't realize was behind the scenes, we were making use of SQL Server Reporting Services Engine to render these reports. In other words, what we've done is we've actually integrated SQL Server Reporting Services right into the application without you actually realizing it. Now there's a strategic reason for it. Not only you get the advanced features of SSRS, but also the future investments that are being made by the SQL team will be available to you right away. In this short demo, I have actually shown you the three powerful capabilities that I talked about. I have shown you an example of a role center. I have shown you how we have built in BI capabilities into Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. And I've also shown you how you can leverage um, Microsoft Office Excel to extend the analysis. But I, what I have not shown you today is how easy it is to implement this solution. Now what we have done is we've actually invested a lot and we have built a wizard-driven UI to implement, configure, and perform most of the customizations. The idea is that you do not need a BI specialist to implement the BI solution. Now, all these solutions that, you, that we've seen today are built right on top of the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack, the most powerful and the most popular BI stack in the world today. So you have the option to extend any of these contents using the Microsoft BI stack. And of course, you have the ability to leverage the massive ecosystem that we have in terms of ISVs and partners who can perform this for you. In summary, um, what we've seen today is a powerful BI solution that comes with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. We've seen how easy it is to work with the information, and we've also seen how, easy, how we have leveraged out-of-the-box tools that are available to you. It's also possible to extend these solutions using the Microsoft BI stack. If you're interested, please visit our product website or please talk to your Microsoft representative or partner. Thank you very much.